backpackers, hikers, and now base camp, base campers. Um, this is the reveal of the Outwell Out Winwood Eight. Winwood Eight. So, uh, it's a big tent. It's really big. It's uh, 24 by 12 feet. So it's for families, for a base camp for when we do our hiking, and also base camp for my dad, so he can fish and get out here in the in the wild with us. With Shay J's in the wild. So we're gonna we're gonna open it. We're gonna set it up today. What I'm gonna do, I'm going to do pictures as we go through the setting up. I'm not gonna do the whole video of setting it up because it's our first time, so it might take longer than the 20 minutes it says. So we're gonna do picture phrases of it and then we'll give the review of the tent. So I'll be right back.
So we got the tent set up. Uh, we got it set up yesterday, but it was like some wind. So we decided to do the video today while it's no wind. So we're gonna start from the back of the tent. This is the back room back here. And it starts from that gray line up there, comes all the way back here. This right here is a vent for the back room right here. You can also bring it down Take the strap here and it'll lay flat. But right now it's open so the vent can go, air can go into the back. And the vent also zips closed. Yes, and the vent also zips fully closed. So I know you're wondering why there's so many guidelines. 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 It's to keep the tent very stable, very stable in high winds. This tent can withstand, so I do a wind test up to 100 miles. It's 112. 112 miles, and it's 100%. And it's 100% waterproof. So good in the rain. We need this type of stuff for where we at in the winds. So um, just come over here, you can see that it goes all the way down. So the guidelines were all the way down. So being that we are at home doing this, we put a plug in that goes in through here for the electricity hookup. And as you can see, um, this right here also has a vent on the bottom, which you can also close. And the windows are tinted. You can see in. You can't see in, but you can see out. It's hard to see inside, so that's a great thing. So this here, so from here, from this pole, this pole, and this pole is a living, living area. And you'll see that when Miss Shea does it, takes part two of that. So in here, from here to here is the awning area. So it has a panoramic view. Watch that baby. So come around to the front. So you have a panoramic view all the way around the front. And this door opens all the way. It also, for privacy, it has a curtain that comes up for privacy. We got it halfway open right now. So being that it's gonna rain today, tomorrow, Tuesday, we're gonna set it, we're gonna leave it up to see how it does in the rain. And see what they really, truly what they say. Well, um, this street right here is what keeps this part sturdy from going back, which all of them else does. And we come around this way Take you around here right quick. You have those same windows on this side. And as you can see, you can see a little bit inside, but not really, really clear. At night, you couldn't see nothing. So here's right here is a other side of the living room area, living area, and also comes with a vent down here. So I, I know you're already looking at the inside, so I'm gonna let Miss Shay start where she wants to, and we'll be right back. Okay, my turn. He likes me on camera, but I don't like to be on camera, so I'm holding the phone. Okay, so we have this door, which is one way to get in, and as you guys saw, you can come in the front as well. Got it all set up in here. We put down a little tarp just to keep our feet dry when it does start to rain. But we're waiting. We have to get one that's a kind of an odd size to do the bathtub floor in this open area. Um, so we just may do for right now. We don't have 
all of our stuff. This roll of stuff here by Jay's feet is actually another blackout bedroom area that you hook up to these little clips. There's a clip there. And there's a clip up in the front here. Well, I'm not going to turn it around so you can see it, but anyway, it clips in and it's about four feet wide, so it fits about a double mattress in there. And as you can see, those you can see really good outside, even though from the outside you couldn't see in these windows. They don't open, and that is by design. Um, it's part of what makes this tent so water resistant. Um, it's where all the other venting comes in. But if you want privacy, because at night when you have lights on in here, you can see in through the tinted outside. That's where these little toggle up window blinds come in. So if you want more, you can literally just take the toggle out and take it down either part way or all the way. And then it rolls up just like that one and ties up to the side. And this is where you can see that outside vent Jay showed you coming in. So all of the vents in here um, do close all the way for more weather resistance. And the power outlet, of course, is it's closed. We just have it kind of set up with a little card table here. And we did go down to Walmart and spent like, you know, 70 bucks on this carpet to put down on the floor rather than buying the carpet for this particular tent. Say hi, Stormy. She likes to be on camera. So back here, as you guys can see, there's the sleeping areas. So we, we deliberately took out the one wall so that we could have more space since it's just the two of us this time. It will easily fit in, if you configure it this way, a king size air mattress or camp cot or whatever you want to use. In the back there, you can see the little toggles. Those are to open up the mesh so you can get more airflow through the back. But if you wanted to make it into three bedrooms, you just unroll this and then zip it down the sides and it cuts it off into another sleeping area. We didn't open it up like this last night and a queen size air mattress fit in the center. So let me back up a little bit so you guys can see the whole thing. If you see where that opening is between the little skinny part, that's the main sleeping compartment back there. And it easily did a queen size air mattress in there last night. So this one that we left closed, just reach down here and unzip it. Oop, nope. Where is it? Oh, you took it all the way by. Anyway, sorry about the crazy camera view. Just unzip, and there's another sleeping area. And we didn't really believe the whole blackout thing that they were touting about on the website for these tents. But we found out it's true this morning. I'm always up by five o'clock. I didn't get it till seven. So it's pretty cool. Do you want to show them how that closes? That is unrolling the door that closes off the main area from that porch at night. And it does zip all the way at the bottom so that you have a fully enclosed bath bathtub floor in this whole tent. So that door also has vents that you can open up. So if you wanted to keep that closed to keep the bugs out, but still allow ventilation, you can keep the front open. And this but, ventilation is for the room that's yeah. up. So if you had a set that other bedroom put in, that wall also opens separately so that they can have extra ventilation if you have a heater going on or something like that. Which you guys can see, we have a little heater over here. And that little fan 
gives enough air that that little bitty space heater heated up this place really well last night. We did not get cold and it got down to 40 degrees. So we don't have all of our camping stuff. Like I said, we just have a little card table and some chairs out here right now because we haven't received everything that we've ordered. Got the little table set up at the game so we can play some poker and stuff tonight. And let's see. Oh, each bedroom area also has these little mesh pockets for storage. It's like right now I have a power bank in there. There's also some on the outside. And we looked and looked and looked and could not find a review from living people that actually used one of these tents. They were all manufacturer videos and or a paid sponsor. Um, so we decided we were gonna do this. This tent is made by a company called Outwell and they are located in the UK. They do not have any US distributors, so you do have to purchase it from one of their distributors um, online. They also will not ship directly to the US. It's not one of the countries that's currently on their list. Hoping that uh, doing some reviews and some actual, you know, setting it up out in the wild and things like that will help push them to do so because so far these are pretty awesome tents. We were about, also, you have oh yeah, these little hooks where you could put like a little string light to go across, or you can hang the lanterns like we have right over there in the front. Excuse my swatter, that's for my front when you come inside, and you can hook it up here and it goes all the way around. It has a little plastic piece where you can snap these onto it. Like a snap, I have, we could snap them all the way around if we wanted to. Just want to throw that in there. Okay, so back to last night. Um, like Jay said, we were trying to set it up in some pretty significant winds that just kind of blew up out of nowhere. And I would guesstimate that those gusts were probably over 60 miles an hour. Where's Miss? Um, but it was pretty steady at 30 to 40. We were setting it up in that weather. Um, and it actually was not that hard once we figured out that putting up this back tent pole here first this is my and then guying out the back. That's Moosey. Yes, that's Moosey, we know. It kept the back stable and then you could move forward pole by pole, guying it out as you went. Um, it's not how they recommend that you do it on the website, but it worked really well in high winds. During that whole time after we got it up, this tent never even budged. 60 mile an hour gusts, and it did not budge. So, we're pretty impressed. So, anyway, that's it for now. Give you a last look around the inside. Oh, dimensions. The tent is 12 and a half feet wide by 24 and a half feet long. So you do need a rather large space to pitch it. But any any standard 30 foot RV space would work if you, if you camp in campgrounds, um, if you want electricity, that kind of stuff. Um, but make sure you have a pretty, a pretty significant wild camping meadow type area if you're gonna use a tent this size. Um, and again, it's, again, made by Outwell. It's called the Winwood 8. And so far, we're loving it. The next two or three days of pretty heavy rain here should tell us for sure exactly what we're going to be dealing with. We'll let y'all know. Thanks. Bye-bye. Hello, family, friends. How y'all doing? Happy Memorial Day. Thank you all, my family and friends. Memorial is tomorrow. I know. Memorial for weekend. Memorial for tomorrow, Memorial weekend. And thank you all, the military, for your service. Appreciate that. But today I want to show y'all a clever thing my baby did for me to make sure we didn't have a bad 
Memorial Day. So it was supposed to rain tonight, all day Monday and Tuesday. So what she did for me is she put, took my hammock tarp and she put it as a further awning out to the front. She hooked up my my poles, my tractor poles, took, took the ladder. I thought this woman was too bad. She took the other one over there to rise it up. So that way, I can still grill for Memorial Day. So I got my grill set up under here. All I gotta do is lift it. I ain't gonna lift it because I gotta clean it. So, so I'm gonna clean it. So I'm gonna get the rain on the food and, and still have a great barbecue. Still when you got a survival woman and a woman with pure heart. Thank you, baby. I appreciate you. I love you, baby. Love you, too. And this is my dad over here. I know Tasha and Robin wants to see my dad. Hey. Don't we look like Robin? Happy birthday, Rob. What did you do with that poker set, Pop? Oh. Right here. So you know what me and him and Tati and Shannon getting into? Some poker and some spades. This time we're gonna win tonight because we're gonna play. We're gonna play real tonight. Me and Pop still gonna yeah, whoop y'all's butts. And we got some Uno. We're gonna have a family weekend. That's some Uno. And we got this new game that um. Tati brought us. So we're going to try and figure this out tonight how to play this and play it. So, family, we got it almost done. Finally got a, got a rug. So we're going to do the thing. We're going to have a nice family night. So, all you guys, have a great weekend and love all y'all, friends and family. Happy Memorial Day.